Worthen FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Slough Town and the National League South at home on Saturday. But before we go to that, we'll um, put it back to Tuesday night, a win against Dulwich Hamlet away. Adam, your thoughts on the game? Yeah, obviously uh, great to get get the three points. Um, yeah, I thought Dulwich were, were good. Um, had lots of possession, probably more possession than us, I think, for one of the first times this season. Um, they really moved the ball quickly. Um, yeah, we got into a bit more of a, a, a defensive shape ourselves, be a bit more solid to play play against, and um, yeah, we definitely sort of rode our luck at times. But um, you know, it's fine margins, like I said in this league, and we just got the better of it on the night. It was definitely back and forth, and we we're under a lot of pressure at points, especially at the end of the game. How do you feel the team did in assist um, in some getting away from that pressure and dealing with that pressure? Were you happy with your team and the way they dealt with that? Yeah, definitely. Like we're a young group, and um, you know we conceded from um, a free header, which we was disappointed with. And you know we knew he was coming up against Danny Mills, who's statistically one of the best um, headers uh, in the box in, in our in our league. So we knew that was going to be a challenge for our players, and, and and they stuck to it. And you know, full credit, we definitely like I say rode our luck. But um, I think you get that luck sometimes with the effort and the determination that the the lads showed in in their defending. The win comes from a goal from Ibia Kambi coming back to bite his former team with that goal. How do you feel he got on and were you happy with his contribution? No, yeah, it's just a matter of getting Ibia game time. Um, I think he can score a lot of goals for us at this level. Um, you know, two already for us. Um, yeah, he offers us something a bit different. We can play into him. He's, he can back into centre-backs a bit more than maybe the other boys can. Um, so, yeah, definitely when he gets up to full speed, um, it's going to be a real sort of shrewd signing for us. Um, I think it's like proved in, in fits and starts what he can do. And in spells and games, he's, he's looked a real handful. Um, we just want that over a longer period now. One thing that was a negative from the game was Javon Splat. He's sending off quite late on. It was, it was quite a rash moment of madness almost. What were your thoughts on the incident and what does that mean for Javon going forward? No, yeah, just um, similar like we said to the young players uh, defensively, um, they got to learn and, 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 you know, mark players in the box and be tougher to play against and, you know, the same for Javon, he's, he's got to learn. Um, you know, I think it's a bit sort of out of character, I think um, he just retaliated after getting hit himself, um, which you can't afford to do and maybe the, uh, their lad was maybe a bit more streetwise than what Javon was in, in terms of you know, getting his little dig in earlier or something, but yes, yeah, it's, it's it's one of them. It's not not ideal. It's not a good look. Um, like I say, it's not in uh, Jeff's character to to go about doing stuff like that. So I'm sure he'll be disappointed, and you know he'll learn the hard way by missing three games. Yeah, it's a shame, but like you say, he's a younger player, and you've got to carry that on. Speaking of carrying things on, carrying on momentum, it's a quick run of games, and you've mentioned before something about it being quite a good thing just to go from game to game and, and go on that sort of flow what are you looking to carry in from Tuesday onto Saturday's game um, just just the uh, sort of grit and now the team sort of showed especially like with the young players at the back you know I thought Joe Ryan had an excellent game he yeah, started the season really well uh, had a bit of a wobbly couple of games and then he sort of like come through that and you know shown what a good player he is and um, him, JB, Luca, you know, Danny Barker is a young back four. Um, there's not too many national south teams, you know, with all of their back five, including Harrison, you know, under 24 years old. Um, so, you know, they've got to learn quickly. It's, it's, it's a tough level um, and, you know, they, they showed a lot of grit and determination in the defending. So we definitely want to carry that on um, and it'd be nice to get back to back clean sheets. That would be a real sort of bonus for us because um, we always feel we can create chances going the other way um, so yeah just to play with that kind of spirit and that sort of hunger and determination that we showed and you know the lads know what that feels like now um, so you know we want them to you know carry on that uh, coming into Saturday. You mentioned how young that back line is and Luca being one of the main ones he's only been back for a couple of games now since he was recalled from Horsham how have you felt he's got on? I thought he was very impressive on, on Tuesday no, yeah, done done very well. Um, you know, this this is why we've got these young players in the building still. And you know, I just felt he just needed match sharpness. That's all. Um, going and getting good game time at Horsham has uh, served us well. Um, served him well. Um, and yeah, he's, he's come in. No, 
no, I wasn't losing sleep about playing Luca um, at all. Thought he could come in and do exactly what he, what he's done for us. Um, so yeah, like now with all the other players, um, he's a young lad for this level still. Um, it's about just keeping that consistency. Um, you know, no doubt get another start on on Saturday. That'll be three games on the bounce now at this level and. Just got to keep playing and keep consistent with your performances and I think that's been the, the key thing that the young players um, have had to learn this year. You know, you can't fall off, you've got to stay real consistent and that's what the good good players and, and the good teams do at this level. So, talking of uh, going into the next one, so Slough here on Saturday at Woodside Road. What are you expecting from the game? They're a team we've already met this season in the FA Cup. Are you expecting a similar game to that? Yeah, probably. They're you know, feel a bit sort of hard done by. Um, you know, I think they had one offside ruled out that was definitely looked onside. Um, it's a real tough game, real tough game. Um, you know, we were lucky to, to come through it. Um, but yeah, they worked really, really hard to put us under pressure. Um, you know, they would have played on Tuesday. They don't change their team too much. Um, so, you know, that work rate, we just got to keep on moving the ball and just believe that you know that they will sort of tire as the game goes on and that's what happened at their place um but you know it's a real tough game you know like the last game i think they lost 2-1 to dartford um very fine margins and that's what it is in this league there's not too much between the top and the bottom teams in my opinion um and yeah you just gotta stick to your game plan stick to your guns and you know hope you get a little bit of luck that goes your way and that did happen in the FA Cup game. It was a, a late winner that yeah. saw us through in the end. You expect them to come back with a bit of bite to maybe get their revenge? No, yeah, of course. Obviously, there was a bit of a, um, a melee as well, which I think sparked us into life a little bit. I think Sammy sort of um, got into a bit of a melee with one or two of their players right in front of their dugout, and it seemed to galvanise galvanise us a little bit. So um, I'm sure they'll be, you know, still remembering that and you know wanting to to, to come and, and and put the the um um avenge you know the the tire that you know because we got away with maybe sticking to our game plan and, and late on in the game but they would have definitely felt a little bit disappointed so yeah they'd be keen to try and put their run they're on a bit of a bad run they'd be keen to try and put that right on saturday um and we'll be keen to try and you know build on the momentum from from tuesday night Looking in our camp, who's going to be available and who might be coming back for Saturday? Um, yeah, so Tay should be back available after his concussion. Um, so that'd be a big, big bonus. Um, just have a left-footed player at the back there. Uh, helps us when we're trying to play out. Um, so that'd be a big, big, uh, big bonus. Um, obviously, Aaron's still suspended his last game. Um, I'm sure Javon's won't come in till Tuesday at Tunbridge. Um, so he'll be available. Um, yeah, and then there's one or two that we're just assessing tonight. Um, so, yeah, um, took bad knocks. JB took a real nasty one early on in the first half. Harrison's got a bad shoulder. So, yeah, got to assess those two and, and see where they are. But you know, at this stage, probably looking doubtful for the pair of them. OK, could be a big loss for us then. What, what would be the contingency if Harrison was missing? Um, yeah, get another keeper in. Um, you know, we look at obviously Will Tillman, we've got real good young keeper, probably not quite ready um, just at this stage, but you know, definitely one for the future for us. Um, and then, yeah, we should have to look at um, maybe getting a, a goalkeeper in um, for a couple of weeks or however long Harrison might be out if he's out at all.